goes with me. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't stay away from me. No matter what the haters kept saying. Oh, the haters, they went in on me. But you know what? I still love y'all regardless. Still love y'all regardless. She said, why are you hanging around with these young kids? Woo. Let me tell you, she's the most young-hearted person I ever met in my mm -hmm. whole little gay life. Okay? Age, age is nothing. As long as you have something in common and your personalities click, it doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying. And, well, and then this just proves that Teresa's a real one because she could have easily, like these Hollywood bitches out here, she could have been like, oh, the fans don't like him, X him out of my life. But you still hit me up every Sweet. time you're in the age. She's a real friend, no, a real friend. No, that's because, you know, you just gotta support each other. That's the thing. You gotta support each 100%. other. 100%. And Matt is an amazing, amazing, not only just person, but designer. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Thank you. That's Hello. the thing. Y'all were hating on me. I didn't even get a chance to give my two cents what I do. I'm not just some little bum bitch running around Beverly Hills. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a hard working bitch. No kidding. I mean, like, you go to college full time. UCLA, top univer public university in the country. Social media influencer. Mm -hmm. And a fashion designer. Celebrity fashion designer. <laughs> because I designed for Teresa Roma, uh, the biggest yeah. celebrity of them all, my favorite client. Well, and I get to wear the same coat as Tyra Banks. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Tyra Banks, Iggy Azalea, all the big people. <laughs> So anyways, Matt, what has been going on since last time we were together? Oh my gosh, I've been hustling. I, I got away, did a little getaway trip, much needed, yes, okay. Yes. Um, but you know, I've been hustling. I've been... Well, something he revealed to me just a while ago, we were at lunch together, and now you have a showroom. I do, I have a showroom in downtown Ooh, LA, which is so exciting. So oh, I'm trying, I'm trying to match my <laughs> Teresa Romer whole empire, you know? <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. So we took a quick break from our interview and went shopping on Rodale Drive together and from the clips you'll see we were in numerous different stores and we even got a chance to visit the Louis Vuitton pop-up museum that was located on Rodale Drive so hope you enjoy the clips and we will resume the interview in a minute remember guys the Louis Vuitton giveaway is still going on it will not end until Monday when I announce the winners in my motivational Monday video so follow all three steps enter today you might just win a Louis Vuitton.
me at the age of 21, I'm I was nowhere near what you are now. Oh my, well, I have a I have an early start. I'm trying to catch up. I'm, I'm running fast. You stay in Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, guys, I mean, like I I just so love love Matt. He's such he's such an inspiring kid. He's he's not out there getting in trouble. You know, he's got his nose to the grindstone. When are you gonna graduate? In next year? year, yes, next in year. In a year, he will year. graduate from college yes. while he was being a clothing designer, fashion designer. Oh, at first, you didn't do celebrities, did you? No, oh no, I started from the ground up. I was right. designing for family, friends at, at what first. Age? Started at seven years old. Seven years old is when I started designing. Seven years old? Mm -hmm. Where does that come from? Okay, the first time I ever realized I wanted to get into fashion was my mom had just had surgery and we were sitting on the couch and um, we were just flipping through channels and then it was a marathon of Project right, Runway. Right, right, right. So we're like, oh, what is this show? So we click on it, we watch the entire season and my mom tells me, she'll never forget this, she's like, she's like you turned to me and he said, Mom, I think I can do this. And I ran downstairs, I grabbed my at sketchbook, seven? seven years old, and at I was seven. sketching up a storm. I started taking sewing classes. My grandma taught me how to sew. No. Yep, and I've been doing it ever since. <laughs> oh my, and then dad gave you kind of a loan. Yes, yes, going, dad gave me a loan, $50,000, which was paid back all in that same year to start same my year. business. It was the year that I was on Project Runway, um, and I made that shit back like threefold. So did you win Project Runway? Or I didn't know. Like I did not win Project Runway, but I do like to say I won the hearts of the viewer. <laughs> because the thing is, my, my sewing skills are not the strongest. I like to say I'm a fashion designer, not a seamstress, right, okay? Right. So my, my sewing skills got me in a little bit of hot water, but yeah, yeah. you know, all that matters is that, you know, I took that platform and I made it my own. See, see, you just put it in the universe. Exactly. At seven years old, he put it in the universe. Yep, and I never gave up no matter what That's anybody true. said out there. And you continue to put it in the universe. Totally, you every single day. Room in LA. And I got one. There you go. I want something, I'm gonna work and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to go get it. Now, there's not many kids I know, and you just turned 21 this past year, right? Yeah. There's not many kids I know that literally put it out into the universe and strive to make it happen and have a load like you have. Like, oh. come on. I live like four lives. I have like five full time jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. How do you have time to go to the, meet with these celebrities at the showroom and stuff? I gotta make time. Here's the thing you, I believe you make time for what you love, and I love everything that I do in my life, so I make time so for are, it. So, are a lot of your classes online, or do you actually go to the No, school? I actually have to go into school. So, what I do is I'll like stack my classes up. Yeah. So, I'll have class Tuesday, Thursday from 9 a.m. to like 7 p.m. I just come back to back, wow. back, back. So, that I'll have a couple free days. And that's the days I'm like, okay, you want to meet and get yep, dressed? Yep. Then you got to come yep. to the showroom on Tuesdays, wow. Tuesday, Thursday. Wow. Yeah. So, what's next? Oh my gosh, so much. We just launched our Boss Bitch hoodies because you know we, we are Boss Bitches. Them. Yes, I gotta get you one for my fellow oh, Boss we are Bitch. A bunch of them. <laughs> mm. My couture line is coming out. Um, we're expanding our furs into plus size children's bomber jackets. No. Yeah, you heard it here for here first, folks. Okay. Now is it real fur or faux fur? Faux fur. All faux my stuff is faux fur. Faux my fur. brand is fake. Yeah. Um, so it's giving, it's bridging the gap between you know like a hundred dollar cheap tacky looking Zara yeah. fur yeah. and you know. A uh, multi ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollar real fur, right, which right. some people have, you know, adversities <laughs> too. So I wanted to bridge the gap in the market. Right, so right, right. That's where Master Rafa comes in. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so excited. I mean, I I just love sitting here watching him grow. I, I'm so proud. I'm like a proud mom. That's all because I'm like you are like my mama. You're my I Texas know. mama. I know. Aww. <laughs> Oh. So, so guys, I just, you know, I was here in Beverly Hills and I wanted to catch up with my buddy and it, thank, thank God you had time. You know, in my you busy know, schedule. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Get out there and find Matt everywhere. I'm gonna leave oh. all of his information in the description box below. You're gonna just love him. You're gonna fall in love with him just like the rest of us do. Oh, I love Seriously. you so much, no, for real. The feeling is so mutual. You. Does he look like a little Myro Tyrus? Myro Tyrus, you want to see me <laughs> swinging from the wrecking ball? <laughs> Oh, oh look, and look at the nails. Look I mean, at the like, nails. I need a fill. Y'all think I'm high maintenance? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you ain't met me yet. <laughs> <laughs> so with that said, guys, get out there, find Matt everywhere. I'll leave out all this information. Yeah. And make sure you hit that notification bell. Get that information every time it comes out there to you. And until next time, bye. Bye, bye. peeps. <laughs> <laughs>